Hey guys, Matteo here. Welcome back to a new video tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. And today's video is going to be very short, very quick and easy. It's something that I didn't even plan to do, but a lot of people ask me about how do I capture my screenshot for then posting them on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and all other social media platform. I thought it was very easy, but talking even with other people on set and working together, we always discuss how you grab a screenshot and some people you know, they click right and then export still. Some people do other things. Since many people message me on Instagram and Facebook, I decided to do it because I think it's a very important thing and it's a very important tool and skill to have in order to showcase your portfolio online. So let's go ahead. We have DaVinci Resolve right here, brand new project. Uh, I didn't do anything. You can see the settings, still 1080, 24p. Nothing really happened here. I have some clips that I shot uh, for the perfume spec ad. We're gonna grab uh, a bunch of them. When this message pops up, I usually do change. Here we go. So we have the correct frame rate. We go into the editing panel right here. What I usually do is select all of them and I drag them into my timeline. We have to set up the timeline in our native resolution. Now you can do even 4K, doesn't really matter. But if I shoot 6K, I just want to export the stills in 6K. Keep in mind that social media tends to compress crap ton out of your frames and your video. So you want to be sure that this is the highest resolution possible. So let's just go ahead and we're going to change this into a 6K timeline. So if you want to know the exact same size of your uh, frame of your footage, we're going to go to media. We're going to click on one of these clip. There you go. Here you have all your spec. We're going to then press setting. Come here, you're gonna see right there, 6144 by 2560. And we press save. And now we have a 6K timeline. So after we set up our timeline on a 6K resolution, it's very simple. We just go back to editing. We check out where, what kind of clip we wanna grab a screenshot from. Uh, this, for example, is really nice. So we can go to color grading panel. One thing you guys need to be sure is that the image is very sharp in the point where you want to grab a screenshot. So in this case, if I go back a little bit here, you see it's a little bit too soft. So I usually go ahead frame by frame, like right here is incredibly sharp. So once you find the perfect frame you want to export, what I usually do, of course, I do some color grading basic. So in this case, I'm shooting on the Pocket 6K and I'm going to just add my battery in Natural Rec 709 because this is typically what I do when I do my color grading. And I'm going to add the Gen 5 right here. I'm going to pull out the scopes, showing you a little bit of color grading, guys, as well. I'm going to increase the highlights a little bit, bring down the shadows a tad. Me, we can bring them down a little bit and then increase the shadows. And when you feel like it's a good time to explore a screenshot, simply what I do, I double check again. It is sharp. A lot of people I know, they go here, grab still, and then uh, go here and try to export or export with display lot, this kind of stuff. I did it for some times, but I wasn't never really happy. So what I always do is just this, I go full screen, I'm on the Mac right now and I press command shift four and I just simply capture a screenshot of the screen. It might not feel like a very professional solution, but I can assure you that the screenshot captured in this way are insane. And yes, you need to set up your timeline to the 4K or 6K resolution because the 1080, you can see that the frame is a little bit too blurred. So in this case, I captured the frame using the black bars. You can also do these and just avoid the black bars. So right here, it's going to capture a beautiful screenshot right here. And now we're going to go back on our desktop and we're going to see them here. And as you can see, this is the one with the black bars. The colors are identical. They're exactly the same. Sharpness is all there and it's gorgeous 6K resolution. And here is the one without the black bars. We can pull it up full screen and uh, it's perfect. From here, I just simply select my screenshot and uh, right click share and I usually airdrop them to my iPad or my iPhone and just call it a day. And here you have it guys, this is exactly how I capture my screenshots for my Instagram, for my YouTube, for my Facebook and all my social media. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.